Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the very young 35-year-old Yelmez car to review today. So, we're taking a look at a car that is 6 foot 2, high low work rates, right footed, 3 star skills, they 3 star a weak foot. Uh, player traits in game, we are working with the outside foot shot trait as well as the injury prone trait. Injury prone is an absolutely incredible trait that should belong in this game forever. Uh, base card stats for attributes, he's at 91 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. We're going to be boosting that by a plus 5 each to help out with his very low 58 balance with a 68 boost with the engine chemistry style ball control and balance are going to definitely be very low to work with agility at 87 by a plus five could be okay but he's gonna be a physical type striker while being six foot two with what body type do you have high and average plus right so this guy is probably going to move like a truck in game but maybe his shooting is nice we'll see he's at 97 92 95 for shot power with 83 long shots 84 volleys at 97 composure so the composure works well with the shooting when you're more inside the 18 yard box uh, base card stats for passing is okay for a striker with the engine it'll definitely help it out a lot uh, he's got 94 for heading accuracy considering he is a big tall player uh, it would definitely be very nice but heading's not really a thing in this game so it's not like crazy it's more for when you clear the ball out with your defenders and he gets the ball in the air from those headers to towards your attacking players 79 for stamina so you want to keep him on state forward you don't want to tell him to be either you don't even want to tell him to be on any sort of aggressiveness which we are going to have to change as well uh, he's got 90 for strength and then 97 for aggression to work with the pace that he has uh, and we will see how he performs in game so with burak we are going to be using him in a 4-2-3-1 to try him out up top in the striker position we're gonna have the rest of team as is and burak is only gonna have well state central is a must we're gonna have a uh, conservative because then we don't want to drain his stamina and then we're also going to keep him on state forward instructions as well so we'll get into a game we'll see how he plays hopefully he is a beast that's not a bad team it's okay i don't see too many crazy pulls in there that's for sure not at all. Oh, by the way, guys, my uh, Icon Moments pack I opened for the Icon Sauce, so I got Xavi, so... I yeah, just wanted to let you guys know. Oh, Burak! Okay, yo, Burak's doing the thing already. Relax, buddy. You know what? His power strike was actually really good. Those are uh, low percentage strikes from those types of angles. Like, you kind of have to go for, like, a ball roll strike. But I just want to see what he'd be like there. Mbappe! Absolutely glorious! I thought he screwed it up completely, but hey, we move. Hey, I'll be honest with you guys, I actually like Burak's uh, attacking AI. I'm not even going to lie to you, it's actually not bad at all. You see how I have the state central instruction on him, he's working well off of that instruction? That's kind of sick. Look. Oh. Just worked that one angle right there for the shot, you know? Oh, he hits a crossbar there. Wasn't a bad strike. You could definitely tell he doesn't have the trait, but not a bad effort. That's a pen. That is yet a pen. Burak with the pass. You know what, guys? His dribbling is not great to work with at all. But the thing about this card is that he does actually have decent attacking AI, so you could kind of actually like work with it in that area. Ooh, nice pen. We'll take it. From Budak. He's had a really good year this year, actually. I mean, considering the age that he has and Lille potentially winning the league this year. Some cool stuff, man. Some cool stuff. He's probably going to dashboard. I wouldn't be surprised. We're getting the directionals off, though. 
Probably gonna leave after we hit this, whether we miss or score. Let's see. Now it's time for the other direction here. There we go. Hey, about, uh, I can't get it. Oh, what a penalty! He's the best in the game! You see how he initially starts his run and then he stops immediately? Like, he actually has some pretty decent attacking AI. I actually like it. It's very small things you gotta see, guys, when you're looking at that type of stuff. See, so you make the pass, he starts to immediately angle, angle himself in the middle. It works well, man, because like cards like this I would give the Stay Central 2 by default, right? And you can see that he's obviously working well with it. I mean, if it isn't obvious enough that Mbappe's attacking AI is absolutely incredible, that's him playing in the cam position with a high-low work rate, so... Uh, the little work between them two is uh, is already pretty noticeable. See? His movement is good, man. This little combination play between him and uh, Mbappe is uh, is very noticeable. I I've actually kind of come to that conclusion for the 4-2-3-1. It's super ideal to have both your cam and striker on high-low work rates. And uh, in a certain patch, it wasn't, but after, I think it was like... It might have been like the third or the fourth. I actually tended to like it more. I used like Ronaldo with um, Mbappe for a while, and it was pretty nice. Look at this, he still has it. <laughs> he actually still had it there. His strength is 90, so it's kind of helpful. Oh, look at Atal just being an absolute meta monster. Lovely stuff. Oh, Kunde just blocks it out of nowhere. You know what's funny is I actually had the finesse shot angle there. Oh, defensively I got it, but that emphasis that he has, man, didn't allow him to get the ball there. See right there, I try to work the shot cancel angle to uh, work the extra space that I got lucky with, but uh, didn't really work out. Because obviously his dribbling you do have to work with because of the bounce being as low as it is with the body type. Uh, cards like this, obviously uh, the physical type of striker, but the high-low work rate makes his attacking AI actually really, really nice for this card in particular. It's just a matter of, you know, not being crazy good in the dribbling department, which was going to be a pretty obvious thing with him. Oh look, a through ball pass that should make completely logical sense to make doesn't work in this game. Nice. Oh, Burak, your finesse shot there. What are you doing? That finesse shot's gotta be way better. Why was it even on the floor? Let's go, Burak. This guy plays like an absolute loser. Literally sells his sells his soul to play this game. Absolutely no skill. Can use the game mechanics of the game to do stuff. Absolute tool. Okay, guys. But other than the fact that EA allows people to play like absolute headless chickens, uh, we're taking a look at a card that is obviously a card that you're mostly going to unlock for the fodder aspect of him, right? But is the card usable in his own ways? It definitely is. Obviously, with the high-low work rates, high-low work rates is a fantastic work rate to have in the striker position and nowadays in the cam position as well. So uh, in this case, we're using Kylian Mbappe as the cam with Yurak. 
uh, or Yurak. See, I'm already flustered because of how terrible this game is. Burak Yelmez's card uh, with also the high-low work rate. And they definitely had a very good combination play between them, but Burak on the stay central instruction just moves across the pitch really nicely. He chooses the aggressive... Um, you know, spaces to exploit really quickly as well. It, he definitely has the attacking EI for it, and we were able to score a lot of opportunities because of that. But obviously, when it comes down to the dribbling of the car, because he's a six foot two player with a high and average plus body type, you will notice that from time to time. His shooting is not special by any means. Uh, it's definitely usable in the gameplay, right? But to dribble, to get into that space, you're not really gonna be able to do much with a card like this in your team. So, Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.